Welcome to The Spine Guy. I'm Dr. Brian Sue, a fellowship-trained spine surgeon in Marin, California. The Spine Guy is a channel dedicated to making the complex spine simple for patients to understand. I'll be posting videos weekly, so don't forget to hit the subscribe button to catch them as they come out. Today we'll be talking about an x-ray. An x-ray is something that your physician may get as the very first thing when you come in complaining of low back pain or leg pain. Plain x-ray is often undervalued because people always jump to the MRI, patients always want an MRI, but I love x-ray because it tells me what the patient's anatomy is when gravity takes into effect. Remember, an MRI is done with a patient flat on their back resting. When a patient's flat on their back, I can't see how gravity pulls on the spine. An x-ray is typically done with a patient standing in what's called the AP view or front back view and on the lateral view or on the side view. On the AP view with gravity, sometimes we can see curvature of the spine, which is scoliosis, and we can see how gravity affects the spine as a patient walks. On the side view, we often look for something called spondylolisthesis, which is a fancy word for saying instability. When the spine flexes forward and when the spine extends backwards, we want all the bones to stay lined up like building blocks on top of each other. So again, this is what the anatomy looks like. This is the sacrum. This is L5, L4, L3, L2, L1. So here you see the sacrum on the bottom. It's attached to the pelvis. Again, the sacroiliac joint is right here. When looking at spine x-rays, the conventional way to take a spine x-ray is to pretend like we're standing behind the patient like this. That means this is the right side of the patient and this is the left. This is different than a classic chest x-ray you would see, which is often you're standing in front of the patient. For all x-rays that are for the spine, the right side is the patient's right side, and the left side of the screen is the patient's left side. So up here you'll see the last thoracic spine, which is T12, and you can see that because there's a rib here. This is the first lumbar spine, L1, L2, L3, L4, L5, and that's the sacrum. First thing we look for is any abnormal curvature. This patient has a reasonably straight spine. On the right hand side here is what's called the lateral or the side view. On the side view, you can see the bones. The bones show up as these white building block squares. There's back, buttock, patient's belly. This is a sacrum. That's the L5 bone or lumbar five four, three, two, one. Remember the bones are named by number. The discs which show up as dark because discs are soft tissue and they don't show up on x-ray. Discs are named the bones that sandwich them. So this is the L5S1 disc, L4, 5, L3, 4, L2, 3. On the side view, what we're looking for is alignment. The lumbar spine is supposed to have a nice curve to it. We call this lordosis. And you want to look at the quality of the discs as discs degenerate over time these spaces narrow and the bones get close to each other because the cushion starts to break down. Two critical images we like to look at for the lumbar spine on x-ray are what's called the flexion extension view. And this is where you can look at instability. The extension view is having the patient try to extend backwards and the flexion view is having the patient flex forward and try to touch their toes. On the extension view, you can tell that the back arcs and that's what you like to see on the flexion view what i'm looking for are for the back of the bones to be lined up and in this patient the back of the bone lines up perfectly one of the most common things we see is something called spondylolisthesis which is just a fancy term for the bone slipping and sliding and we'll go through that in another episode but what we're looking for in a normal spine are for the bones to be totally lined up with each other which they are in this right side of the image thanks for watching don't forget to click the like button and leave questions or feedback in the comment box below. Feel free to let me know what videos you would like to see in the future about the spine.